guys. I got this Simplicity Coronet rear engine rider and lately uh, after about 20 minutes of using it it starts cutting out like it's starving for fuel and I think it's a fuel issue because I can you know give it some choke and it'll kind of run a little bit more but then it will still die out and what I've done so far is I put a new fuel filter in here and I replaced this section of line um, I did not replace this section yet so I don't know maybe there's an obstruction you know at the in this line or at the bottom of the tank or something um, I don't think it's a spark issue so maybe the carbs dirty I don't know but uh, I'm gonna mow with it right now and if it starts doing it again I will turn the camera on get a chance to choke it but let's try starting it all right so you saw what it was doing after about 20 minutes it starts uh, cutting out seems like it's starving for fuel and I was able to choke it and it kind of kept going a little bit But if you go back off of choke it will stall and then you know you let it sit for 10 15 minutes and Come out and start it and it'll run for another 15 20 minutes So it's kind of odd um, I think what I'm gonna try doing is take this uh, hose off here and then blow back through maybe there's an obstruction in this line and I might end up replacing that line too and then oh yeah there's something in there there's some sort of see what junk could get in here and kind of obstruct flow I don't know what this thing's floating out in there so go ahead and get this piece out and then we'll take this line off and shoot some air through there. So yeah, it's like a piece of foil that was in there. Huh, interesting. Got our fuel line off and we'll just take this rubber tipped air nozzle and spray some air through it and let's see if anything comes out. Alright, so another thing I noticed is this grommet here is all cracked. But I don't think that's what's causing this issue, but I will have to get another one of those. I, did, I took this tank off just to make sure. There looked like some plastic filings in there too. So I just uh, took it off to make sure nothing was in there. Alright, so there's a fat line here. Couple of 10 millimeter nuts, we'll take those off. All right, this is where we're at. There's a little fuel line here that connects to this 
metal line right here. Got the linkages off, there's two of those. And then this little ground wire. And then, yeah, this little solenoid deal that's still connected here. So, I think we'll just try to unscrew that. That looks pretty clean. The stuff that's in there just uh, went in there when I took it off. But yeah, that's really clean. But as long as I have this off, I might as well clean it up. All right, I'll take compressed air. And the needle and seat's working. I can see that going up and down there. So that's not stuck. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and put this back together and uh, we'll see how it does. The carburetor back on, let's pour some gas in. And actually another thing that could be an issue is your fuel cap not venting. Um, I already did test this, so I know that's not the issue. But we got gas in there and this line is full. So let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. still full so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let it run for a bit and then I'll start mowing with it and see how it does
All right, guys, this thing's been running about 40 minutes and it did not shut off like it was doing. So hopefully it's fixed. If not, I'll probably make another video on how to replace this fuel pump. But this, it looks like it's working really well. And my conclusion was, I think there is some crud in this tank that uh, was clogging up the uh, outlet and not letting fuel flow because um, the carburetor looked pretty clean so I don't think that was it so yeah hopefully it's fixed it ran really good that'll do it for this video like comment subscribe thanks for watching <laughs>